Hey, I'm Bo, and I'm hanging out in Foo Studio, the foodtastic place where you can build anything. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Brick Breaker style game in Foo Studio. Foo Studio is usually about running and jumping, but we can make all kinds of games just by changing the code. For today's level, you'll need to finish Chapter 4 with the astronaut before starting. We'll be using the bump event and dun dun dun, the destroy command. Make a small area. The entire level space would be way too big for this kind of game. So we'll click on edit, the little pencil, and take some of these metal blocks and make a box around Ninja Foo like that. We'll just move the star over in here. And then we'll take some red brick blocks and add them all over here. Bricks, 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 everywhere, bricks. All right, fantastic. Hmm, okay, maybe we should make a checkerboard pattern. Oops, let me fix that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Now, we'll fill in the spaces with some gems. Okay, so now we need the ball that's gonna be bouncing off the brick blocks and breaking them. We could add the red ball, but it's a little too bouncy, so I'm gonna use the beach ball instead. As a final touch, let's add some ramps here and here, so it's easier for the player to use Ninja Foo to hit the ball into the air. I'll just click on this ramp and turn it around like this. Bingo. Now, if we press play, we can hit the ball, but you can see that it doesn't really break anything yet, so we gotta change that. Ninja Foo can collect the gems too, but we can't win the game. And we can change all of that by changing the code. First things first, when the ball touches the bricks, they should break. It is a brick breaker game. To code that, we'll use the bump event, which is this one. This means when something runs into the brick block, run some code. This question mark means if anything runs into the block, then run some code. But we only want it to break when the ball touches it. The ball is under the tire category, since you can throw it. The code we want should be if the ball runs into the brick, then it will destroy the brick. So we'll add the dun 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 destroy command right here. <laughs> All right, let's test it. If we hit the ball into the bricks, the ball destroys them. Nice. Oh, wait up. Check it out. Ninja is still collecting the gems, so we're going to fix that right now. Click on a gem and scroll down to the bump event. This picture means the player. So this means when the player runs into a gem, collect it. If we switch this to the tire, it means when the ball runs into a gem, collect it. We hit play and yes. Now the ball collects the gems and the player, Ninja Foo, doesn't. Sorry Ninja Foo, no gems for you. That's cool, but we still need to change the code on the star, right? So right now the player wins if they get Ninja Food to touch the star, but we want the player to win if Ninja hits the ball into the star. Click the star and write the same code there. This star command here means win the game. Okay, let's test it. Now the ball destroys blocks. It collects gems. It destroys more blocks. And it collects more gems. wins the game. Awesome. Now that's how you make a Brick Breaker game in Foo Studio. If you want to play or remix this level, you can use this code in Foo Studio. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. Have fun in Foo Studio. Dun, dun, dun. I know I will. <laughs>